Well, we haven't met, but I'm Christine from Belgium. Christine We've met like a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And Christine Morado, HLM Belgium. And every time it was a disaster. So. No, every time it's the funnest interview ever. <laughs> I, I don't consider it a disaster at all. <laughs> like every time I think I'm going to lose my job and I end up getting a promotion. So <laughs> keep on going. Am I good luck, Tom, for you? Yes. Okay, good. Well, first of all, congratulations on the movie. Thank you. I saw it a while ago, and I really think, and I'm going to say this right now, I think you're going to get your first Oscar nomination for this. Don't say that. Yeah, God, I don't, don't. want to jinx it. I don't want to <laughs> jinx it. But in case it doesn't happen, I have something for you. <clears throat> is this like the next best thing? It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, well, you know what? Just open it up. Okay. Thank you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I bought it this morning on Hollywood Did you get it on Hollywood Boulevard? <laughs> I sure did. I've bought them for friends in the past. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. And I got their names like actually engraved in it as well. Yeah, I did it because I have like a so little funny. machine. At like a, st a sticker maker sort of thing. Yeah. Thank you. I, I did it. And I was a little bit embarrassed like to go into the store and like buy it because it's so like I don't know. No, trust me, I've done this so many times for friends when they've come to visit town. That's, I'll put it on my shelf at home. Yeah, well, I need some proof. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe a speech? An Oscar a, 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 An thank acceptance you. speech? Yeah. I mean, first and foremost, ex just thanking you and, and um, Belgium in general and, um, of course, the, uh, the Academy. Um, yeah, that's. I guess I should work on this. Should this ever happen to me one day? Because I forgot your pathetic. husband and your dog. Most oh, things. husband and dog, of course. Yeah, since my husband is also a producer on the film, he definitely deserves thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think he might be sleeping on the. On yeah, the I'll be on the. Yeah. I'll be in the dog house. <laughs> the dog will be in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, that's what happens. Like once you become a dog owner, like the dog is like it starts out on the floor and then it ends up in the bed, and you're like. Trust sleeping. me, I know. I'm lint rolling every morning because he's furs everywhere, and every time I'm like, he's not allowed in the bed, but then he wakes up in the morning, he's got a cute little face, and I'm like, get up here, he's so cute. <laughs> well, you have a black dog, I have a white dog. You oh, really? White hair, you see it everywhere. Yeah. Anyway. I feel like black hair, it's, it's, oh, it's a nightmare. But <laughs> yeah. He's worth it. Um, you know, I'm going to interview you next week. I'll bring my dog. We should do a dog a day. Oh, my God, we should. If, if my dog's crazy, though. Like, he will, like, he doesn't stop moving. That's fine. He's like, Let's oh. do it. Okay, great. I mean, <laughs> we'll have another interview go viral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna bring him. I'll, I'll tell you that now. All right, I'll bring. I'll bring Boo. <laughs> Let's talk about competition. Um, how do you deal with it? Because like, uh, I think it was a month ago I interviewed Ridley Scott. And he was like, "I'll see someone else's movie. I like it. I'll be depressed for one month." Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I have the complete opposite. I'm having the, like the best time right now seeing all the other films that are out at the moment. Like, I just went to go see. Shape of Water and Lady Bird in the same night. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I just want it. There's so many good movies coming out at this time of year. It's yeah. like, I feel like if you're a film lover, this is like the best time of year. You know what I always think is that with athletes and also with actors, they, most of the time, they never really had like the easiest upbringing. Um, mm -hmm. They really suffered and you, your road to success was, wasn't was always easy. Can you talk a little bit about that, about the challenges of becoming an actress and actually making it in Hollywood? Yeah, I mean, Australia is so far removed from Hollywood and, and especially my upbringing couldn't have been further from this industry. Like. I had pet gra cows growing up. Like, I mean, uh -huh. I really did not have a Hollywood lifestyle at all. Um, so, but actually that's, it's, it's the best thing in the world because every time I go home, I'm just, it's nice to have it so removed. It's nice to have my work life and my personal life so clearly separated. I, you know, no one else in my family's in the industry. Actually, to be honest, now that, now that I'm in the industry, like my brother became a stunt man and my other brother wants to become an actor. My sister thinks we're all crazy. She's an accountant and she was like, why would you want to do that? That sounds horrible. Um, but my mom's like a physiotherapist, you know, like everyone's very removed from the industry for the most part. And it's it's the best thing. But yeah, no, in Tonya's case, she kind of rose. It's that classic underdog story where she rose to the top despite all the circumstances mm -hmm. and everything that was holding her back, her family, her upbringing. I mean, the movie really does make a statement on like classism and, and that, you know, I mean, you get to see what it's like in the figure skating world, but also you just get to see it speaks a lot to the media culture and, and how the world kind of passes judgment so quickly on people It's and, and women in particular and how they try and pin them against each other. It really does have a lot to say, but at the heart of it, it is that classic underdog story where you see someone rise up mm -hmm. despite the circumstances. I don't know how we did this. Like we did. We had a totally normal interview, and we didn't even go 